I'm going to take you through the mobile version of our site. It's completely different than the desktop version, but I, after a couple of sessions, it's, it's pretty easy to use. So obviously with anything, it takes a while to get adjusted to it, but hopefully this video will help. Let's go over it. So first thing you can see is the horse's name. We've got the saddle cloth, the wind percentages, the live odds, SOR, which stands for strength of race. These sort buttons over here, you can click on those. I like to sort from the SOR because I want to know the horses that are coming out of the stronger races. This looks at the last five races for every horse and the competition that they faced. And it does not have anything to do with how they ran against these horses, only the competition in which they faced. So you can see not only does the four horse come out of the strongest last five races, has a 54% chance of winning. This race just went off at Indiana Grand. This horse stumbled to his knees and still won the race fairly easily. And you can get rid this, these are the elimination functions. One of my favorite things on the site because when you've got scratched horses or low percentage winning horses, I don't even want to see them. So we're going to get rid of the seven, get rid of the three, the five horse, the system says has a 0% chance of winning. I have yet to see a horse that had 0% chance win. I've seen a 1% win twice, 2% a couple of times, I eliminate horses automatically that have 4% or below, unless they're the, on the top SOR. So we'll eliminate here, we'll eliminate the two, and we'll eliminate this horse, leaving us with three horses. That's what I like to do, and you can do that from the mobile, of course, as well as the, the desktop. But we can come over here, select wager type. We click there, we can play a pick four if we want. 50 cent denomination, do a $36 ticket, and generate the ticket. Pretty easy. We can customize the ticket by clicking here. And this gives us the ability right here, you can see, to either add the one, don't add the one. If we wanted to, we go down to the toolbar, click here, and go like this. What I would have done in this situation, probably with a 54% plus top SOR, plus we can see this horse is getting bet as well, which means something. It's not the tell all. So I would have clicked on the X and got rid of the eight horse. Then I would have locked the race. If you lock the race, the system can't use the horse. So we're gonna lock this. Obviously, and the system can't use anything you've eliminated. And then I would probably press regenerate, or I could come over now and I wanna to go to leg number two. And the way you know that is because it's here in the middle. And we can go back to view names if we wanna see the names. And now we look at them. I'm gonna click on the sort button there and get rid of, you have a 4% horse and you have 47%. Uh, so it's the lowest SOR. Getting bet a little bit from at 5 to 1, but I'm still not going to use the horse. I'll let a horse like that beat me. They're not going to beat you often, 4% of the time. And on top of that, they have a low SOR. I've not run the numbers yet, but I imagine if you have the lowest SOR and a 4%, I bet you it doesn't win very often. So that'll help you. Plus, the live odds help because you can look to see if a horse is getting bet or not. You can see... The rest of the field is getting bet. So I would probably keep these horses in here and we want to view the ticket and see what the system was using. We want to use the one, three, four, six, seven. Or you could single the six horse, right? So this race hasn't gone off yet, but the system is singling the six. So if we want to say, no, I don't want you to single this. We could come over here, click on the toolbar, and we could go, you know what? This looks like an all race to me. Do that and go, I'm happy with this race. System, leave it alone, lock it, and regenerate, and it'll change the entire ticket. All right, so most of you that have seen my videos already know how to do this, but I thought I would just kind of give you a refresher course. So we can look at the Scotty picks up here. They're a little bit different. On the website, they're a lot easier to read, but if you click here, you can you can see them. Click it again, get rid of it, or click outside the box. Lifetime record of the horse. First of all, let's view the names. Lifetime records here. You can see the six horse. We can go to surfaces and how each horse is done on the surface. Trainer and his record and the jockey and the jockey trainer combination. We can also go if we want to. Now, this is going to take us out of our ticket. If you want to stay within the ticket, the way you do that is by 
doing it this way, going from here. This will keep you within your ticket. But if you go up here and you go to the next race, we're completely out of our ticket now. Now we'd have to start from scratch and select a wager. All right, so we'll go get rid of that. Here are some of the settings. You can go to your account from here you can log out if you want. You can select the track. You can go back a few days if you want to. You can go future. We'll stay here. Go to Louisiana Downs. Go to race number six if you want. Do some future handicapping. Then we can start changing back and forth going here. Up here, upcoming races. We, we want to go to uh, Thistle Downs. Just click on that. There's seven minutes to go before the race. And then we can start all over again doing our handicapping. Last but not least, the intercom button here. You can ask any questions to us. You can see FAQs. You can see Mike and John there. And you can uh, look for anything you want to look for. This goes directly to us. I'm involved as well. So I see these things. And whichever one of us thinks that is best to answer the question that you're asking, we can do that. But you can click on any FAQs. You know, you can type in SOR and you can search that. And if you click on that, it's, you can see what an SOR is. It gives you a few different uh, categories there. Some are videos, some are just FAQs. And uh, that's how that works. Come back here, click it, and get rid of it. That's uh, a brief look at the mobile.